There are five species of rhinos in the world, all of them highly endangered. There's a Sumatran rhino, the Javan rhino, the white rhino, the black rhino, and here we have the greater one-horned Indian rhino. Unfortunately, rhinos are killed throughout the world for their horn, which is often used for medicinal purposes or as an aphrodisiac. The reality is nothing's been proven that it can serve as either of those. The horn isn't really even a true horn. It's basically fingernail material that grows on the top of the skull. The black rhino and the white rhino have two horns. The greater one-horned Indian has one horn. These are called pachyderms, and they're in a family with elephants, rhinos, and hippos. And the word pachyderm basically means packy, thick, derm skin. So these are thick-skinned animals, and they have a really bad rap of being aggressive or very dangerous. The reality is they're neither. They're very defensive. If they get frightened, they can charge. They can run very quickly. You look at an animal as big and bulky like this, can weigh a couple of tons, and the reality is they can run 30, 35 miles an hour very quickly and overcome something very, very quickly. But they don't do it out of aggression. Again, it's defending them, their territory or if they're frightened or if they feel challenged. They're pure vegetarians. Um, there's a lot of programs in the world now trying to captive breed these animals to hopefully preserve their species for generations to come. And having a one-on-one -on -one feeling is the skull up here feels almost like a, a concrete block, whereas the lips and the back of the ears are very, very soft. These animals are sensitive to things like insect bites. And generally speaking, the greater Indian horned rhino, one horned rhino is solitary, the black rhino is solitary, whereas the white rhinos tend to be found more in herds. But unfortunately, they are going through huge challenges these days because of the poaching for their horns.